coding made easy. So what's up everybody and welcome to your next Lego 5 platformer tutorial and this tutorial we will be getting some gravity done in our program so uh, by the end of this tutorial if we get everything done in this tutorial I think you guys are gonna really like the results so let us begin by going to player.h and or we could even go to entity let's just go to entity.h and oh yeah so we already have uh, a float called gravity oh did I just delete it okay so if we go to our let's go to our player class and the load content will just set our gravity to our own value simply because for enemies and stuff you might want the gravity to be different Oh, and one thing too, you might want to put the move speed within the text file as well, just so if you want to customize it, you don't have to recompile. Uh, but that's something uh, that's a personal choice for you. So now, uh, remember that we implemented velocity into the entity class. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the down key. We don't need that anymore. So we'll switch this to an if statement, and we'll, we're going to switch this to velocity. And velocity will be equal to negative. It will be equal to negative jump speed. Now jumping only requires to the player. Well, I'm only going to require it to the player. So I'll put in the player class. I'll call it jump speed, and I will make the jump speed equal to 20 in the load content. So that is our jump speed, and that will allow us to jump up in the air. And what we're going to do is make this an if statement. So, sorry. So if they press right, then our velocity is going to be equal to move speed. Else if, if they press left, our velocity is going to be equal to negative move speed. And else, we're going to stop the animation and we're going to set our velocity dot first equal to zero. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, we're going to say that if activate gravity is equal to true, then we will say that velocity dot second is equal to velocity dot second plus our gravity else velocity dot second equals zero. So our velocity y, this is like saying plus equals, but with a pair, we can't do that. So this is going to say that we're going to increase our y value by the gravity. So what we're going to do now is we're going to say that our position is equal to, and uh, you know what? I'll just do it like this. So position dot first will be equal to uh, position dot first plus velocity dot first. And our position dot second is equal to position dot second. Whoa, what is that? So position dot second plus velocity dot second. Okay, so we've got. So this is gonna add our velocity to our player. So that should uh that that should add the gravity motion. So now what we're going to do in our tile class is we're gonna go to our tile dot h. And we're going to make a boolean in the private section and we're going to say contains entity. Now uh, we're going to go to our tile.cpp now. So now if it reaches here, we're going to say that e.activate gravity is equal to false, right? So we don't want gravity anymore. And we're going to say contains entity is equal to true. So that means that particular tile has an entity on it, okay? So what we're going to do now after this if statement is we're going to say that if contains entity, then we're going to do another if statement inside it. So we're going to say that if e position dot first uh, plus 32, so plus the width of the player, if it's less than tile rect dot left or the position dot first is greater than tile rect dot right that means it is to the right or to the left of the tile that means we're not we're no longer on the tile anymore so that means contains 
contain entities equal to false and we will set activate gravity equal to true again okay and uh that's what we're gonna do to set it up so one last thing i told you i was gonna fix the thing of of our player kind of going into the tile so after we do all this position stuff in here what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, e dot animation dot position is equal to e dot position so what's happening is that it's not updating the position until the next frame because remember we draw whatever's in the animation and the animation position is updated in the player class so if we update it in here then we won't get that effect anymore so let's run this program real quick and let's see if we get the desired results. So as you can see, we drop to the ground and so this is kind of, oh yeah. So the jumping is not really working properly. And what we have to do is go to our player.cpp. So when they press the up key, we have to say that if they press up and not activate gravity, then we're going to set activate gravity equals to true. And so that will only allow us to jump if we're actually on the ground or on a platform. If we're on a platform or on the ground, we can do it. And as you can see, we can we've got our stuff set up so you can jump do whatever you like so on and so forth now uh last but not least since we have a bit of time what we're gonna do is just go to our main.cpp now we've avoided something we should have done for a while now and might as well just do it right now so we're just gonna make a boolean dot draw boolean draw and we'll call it false and we're going to say that else if ev dot type is equal to allegro event timer so if it equals the timer then we'll do this and we'll set draw equals to true and if draw we draw now you might be saying how come we don't just add it in the event uh, the timer event um, I was I, I don't really remember it was a while back but I believe that the timer it should only handle update stuff the more stuff you have to do with it the slow uh, it could affect the timer and so on and so forth so I believe that you're only supposed to do a limited amount of stuff within the timer so we set it to true so then the timer doesn't have to uh, do all that stuff and then uh, what we'll do is we'll set draw equals to false after. So it only draw something when we actually update something. And so once we do that, we can run it one more time. And that way it should run the same speed on every computer. Um, well, yeah, it should. And wow, there's some glitches. So it's kind of glitching. So maybe this won't work well for us maybe we should just do without the draw and just keep drawing each frame so yeah maybe we should do without it because it's kind of glitching a bit so yeah we run this it, it, it runs fine so we've got our gravity implemented and, and it looks pretty cool. So now we can work on some other stuff um, in the next few tutorials. But I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching and don't forget to comment and subscribe and bye for now.